Good morning, Charlotte Lea Collins. How are you? Thanks. How are you? Very well. Where are we today? Lock and Co. On St James's Street, classic hat brand. Last year we wrote a feature, all the tips you need to know about buying a hat. A1 contributed. I was like completely blown away by how beautiful her designs were. So I'm actually really excited about this. Historically, if people have big events, christenings, weddings, ascot, whatever, it was either incredibly expensive couture hats, or you kind of had to go to the high street. A little fascinated with some feathers sticking out of it is not very 2020. So we are here to meet A1 Goldie. It's done a collaboration with Lock and Co. And we're going to go and try some more. Oh, that's a proper boater. Pop it on, see what happens. I do quite like a boater actually. I've got a massive head. I've got yeah, I have to wear a man's size hat. Cool though. Yeah, nice. Also, that's not going anywhere. Tap that. Oh, no, don't, not aggressively. <laughs> you said tap. I tap. Can't. How much are they? That's 135 pounds. I mean, that's going to last you your whole life, isn't it? It's pretty solid. I've had a couple of lock and co hats in my time. Yeah, see Thomas Shelby. I bet the sales of those have gone right through the roof. Oh, that must be our best seller. Really? Oh, yeah. thanks to Thomas Shelby. Peaky blinders. Yeah. You know what they call the peaky blinders? It was a real gap. What they used to do is they used to put razor blades in the little peaks of their hats there. So they could take them off and. No way. Hi. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Awan Golding and I'm head millinery designer here at Lock & Co. This is Spring Summer 20. Yes. And what inspired it? The whole collection is inspired by women who have inspired me. Fire brands, intellectuals, fashion icons. Each hat is named after a different person. A classic occasion piece called the Megan. I'm Jewish and Jews don't wear hats to weddings. Yeah, so they I wear them to temple. Yeah, not so much anymore though. Well, you've got to bring this back. No, it's true, I will, I will. Oh my God, that is amazing. I do need to bring this back. Yeah, maybe we'll go with something a little bit more funky. I mean, this is kind of like Yeah, younger. this is amazing. This is the Emma. This looks amazing. On you. Silk Gazaro mm -hmm. at the back. Oh my god, that is yeah. mega. Right, we need to get me somewhere where I need to wear a hat. <laughs> Business in the front, party in the back. Yeah. I've done this in three different colours for this mm -hmm. season, but if someone wants to match their dress perfectly, sure. then. How do you know the angle? You've done it a lot. It's better at an angle, yeah. much more flattering on the face. But traditionally, oh, wow. women's hats sat to the right, men's the left. Nice. Actually, I don't really kind of abide by that anymore. You usually, say where your parting is, you would put the hat over that side. The rule of thumb, when you are angling it, have fingers width between your eyebrow and your hat. But this is the most gorgeous pink. What are the other colours? Navy mm -hmm. and black, but it's so customized. It. Okay, I love it. So this one's called the Bianca. Silk organza. Light as a feather. Bedazzled in pearls. I mean. <laughs> That's it, it's rather large. It yeah. is amazing, it's amazing on you. So this is the Tandy. I, I thought this one was a little more grown up. I don't know, I think the colour is quite fun actually. The colour is wear fun. this with like a lovely tea dress or something. Oh, I it's love this one. Yeah. That's amazing. That's so pretty yeah, on you. That. Oh my god. So okay. pretty. I do. That is amazing. Well, you can wear that to a party. There's no reason oh, yeah. to dress up or down. I love that. It's <laughs> nice. I do love that. Yeah. Come alive when yeah, you're like yeah. enjoying wearing it. So what's been best selling? Headbands have been really, really good. Mm. So what's happening here? They are just setting up for a meet and greet later. You're launching today. You're launching today. My mum's coming. These are all little goose feathers that are hand cut. Elevated headbands. Yeah. Trying to be as versatile with something that is all over the high street. Yeah. We want to differentiate ourselves from that and really add some crop. I would wear this to a wedding with a navy slip dress. A headband is so easy. So true. And it doesn't muck up your hair. The high street ones are a little smaller, aren't they? So that's a silk Thank velvet. You. That's amazing. This is called Yoko. A little Panama oh, straw camellia on the front there. Oh, I love it. Yeah. It's modern, right? I love it. This fresh. is my, yeah. This my your hat. Yeah. yeah, for a summer wedding. Amazing. So let's go big. Yeah, 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 that's right. Wow. I do like this one as well. That's amazing. Amazing. You have to try them all off. You so don't know what you're going to like. I wouldn't necessarily have been drawn to this. I think it's amazing. I would know where you're to choose a favourite, you know? So that's the Catherine. I love the colour that you paired it with, that coral. Look how gorgeous that is. So that's a vintage French bailey. Insta face. Is there one hat you haven't tried? Yeah, we haven't tried this. Uh, this is called Greta. Garbo? Oh, no. Thumbo. 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 Oh. Yeah. Is it? It's for her next transatlantic journey, obviously. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when you want to blend into the crowd. Oh, wow. It looks even bigger on, doesn't it? This is the Royal Ascot piece. For sure. This is going to get you pap. You've tried all the hats. Which are your top three? Probably Megan. It's really classic. And simple. Cool. But there's something really modern and fresh about it. Number two. Yoko. So many summer weddings. I can really see myself wearing a hat like that. That's why. My number one is Catherine. So feminine, so pretty. I also would like to give special mention to Tandy. Because Tandy surprised me. Yeah, Thank you fantastic. so much. Wow, that was so interesting. How did that go? I've never felt very confident in a hat. Um, I have dabbled in a hairband recently, but I never really thought the hats were my thing. A, that was a really interesting education. B, it was just so lovely to see such beautiful. I mean, they're works of art, really, what she creates. Proof that there's a hat out there for everyone. 